Hi and welcome to EasyNet. Today I will be doing an unboxing and a small review of a ProLine inverter. This inverter has an AC charger as well as a solar PWM charger built in. This is the 3 kVA or 2400 watt unit. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. It's a very plain and simple looking box. It, this is the, the model number PROEIP3K24. As this is a 3 kVA and it is 24 volts. So let's open it up and see what's inside. This unit currently retails for roughly 4,000 Rand, so it's a very, very cheap pure sine wave inverter. So I'm not, I don't think this is going to be the best you can get on the market, but it feels good and it looks good. So here it is, inside you get a USB cable. I assume that this can be hooked up to your computer. You also get a CD and a small manual. Jeez, this is actually beautiful. It looks, looks well made. Looks reasonably well made. It has a few buttons on. Looks like you can change some settings on it. The, you can definitely change the, the charge current for your battery bank as if you start out with a small battery bank you can't charge it at the full um, 50 amps that this uh, charger can do. So I'm just going to run through the specs here. It is, so it's 3000 VA or 2400 watts. It's a 24 volt system with a maximum input of 100 amps. The output is 230 volt AC at 50 Hz with uh, 13, 13 amps output. The AC input is a maximum of 17.7 .7 amps. Let me just get this camera to focus a bit better. And your maximum DC output is 27 volts at 30 amps. That will be for your battery charging and your maximum or your AC output is 230 volt AC 50 Hz and 13 amps. So this has a maximum uh, solar open circuit voltage of 60 volt DC. So this means you can only connect two panels in series otherwise you will definitely blow it up. Okay now I'm quickly going to open up the bottom connections so we can see what is there. What I can see is it's got two fans in, probably the one is for the charging side and the other one is the inverter side. This is what you would call a hybrid inverter as it has a AC charger, AC mains charger built into it. Let's see, and we're in. So let me zoom in a bit and you can see what there is. So, there you'll see you've got your AC input and at the bottom is your AC output. You've got your USB input. This is probably going to trigger a light or something when the power goes off. And then you've got your very, very big DC connectors rated 400 amp. And you've got an on off switch. So I'm quickly going to grab a tester so that we can test if the neutral of the output is tied to the earth and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so here I've got my trusty old Toptronic TBM805 uh, digital multimeter. I'm just quickly going to test and see if my neutral is tied to earth. I'll 
So there you can see zero ohms. Oh yeah, 0 0.1 ohms. Let's get it a bit closer. So this neutral is definitely tied to the earth. A very, very good thing for a cheap uh, pure sine wave inverter. As all the cheap inverters aren't tied, the neutral aren't tied to your earth. So you have a problem when you start pushing that into your um, home circuit. Especially when you go this big, you want to push it in your home circuit, otherwise it's useless. And then you have to disconnect all your neutral cables going into your DB board and put it directly into the inverter. And you also have to ensure that none of your appliances is um, shorted neutral to earth, otherwise that will blow up your inverter. But luckily this one doesn't have that problem. So I can hook it up directly to my house DB board and then we're good to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and we'll see you soon.